you going? I'm good, Stephen. How are you? Yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, now, you're doing some wonderful work online at the moment. Um, you're basically showing people... Well, you're not showing people. You're doing classes every day. Um, and this is something that you were doing before COVID-19 hit, right? Mm, yeah. So um, I, I run a, a Pilates and yoga studio called Performance Pilates and Yoga. Um, my studio is in St Kilda. And uh, I mainly teach one-on-one uh, -on -one and very small group um, Pilates and yoga sessions. So a little bit different from a lot of um, studios around, I suppose, because I've got that sort of more personal training focus. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've been I've been teaching um, Pilates and yoga. Well, Pilates longer than yoga, um, but I've been a personal trainer for many years, um, and I sort of got into it as a job in between musical theatre contracts. You know, something to always you know come back to, um, yeah. and. And I really love it and I would say it's sort of I love it just as much as performing and the past couple of years I've been exclusively just being a trainer yeah great I mean I think yeah. the um the first video I watched um since being in isolation the it was one with um all the noise that started it was like whatever was going on in your neighborhood at that time you were in the backyard oh. like <laughs> construction <laughs> going on and I was like how great like it's just keep going the show must go on <laughs> i've got to keep training it was so loud oh my god yeah and since then i haven't really used my courtyard i just do it in my studio now <laughs> yeah fair enough um i also um the reason why i kind of wanted to talk to you um especially yes about getting fit um follow you on facebook instagram or whatever people can do and to donate through um is it your paypal account is that right yeah, so at the moment I'm offering um, all the sessions for free and then if people um, have the means to and they'd like to donate, um, that's super helpful for me to keep my business afloat at the moment um, and they can do it through PayPal or via bank uh, transfer or credit card on my website if it's easier and it's just an optional sort of pay-as-you-feel amount. Yeah, great. Um, and the last time I saw you sort of um, in person was down in Bondi Beach and you were working for um, Nike doing... Um, sort of some fitness oh, yeah. stuff there as well but what was really and I find really fascinating with everyone trying to um, put all these sort of workouts online is the breath work that you ha have done or obviously um, as a trainer this is something that I'm I'm really working on um, is that as a singer you need to have breath like I mean it's just it's so so right for that now do you think um, we we're sort of speaking before that it's your music theatre background that's helping you do what you're doing now or do you think it's your fitness um, background that's helping you through singing, song, dancing? It's an interesting question. I have had a lot of people tell me that they're impressed and for years now that they, they're really impressed at the amount, the volume um, that I can speak at and not get, not seemingly, it seems like I'm not puffed out. Yeah. I think... Um, I, I do think it's probably the years of being in musical theatre that it has helped me a little bit there. So just having to push through even when I am dying on the inside, just to <laughs> kind of that performance mode kicks in. And, yeah. you know, I, I probably, when I am uh, puffed out, I probably do get a little louder because I am, I'm not, um, you know, I'm trying to help, you know, support my, support my <laughs> volume. Yeah. But I also... I think there's something that comes over me when I'm teaching fitness and probably when I'm, when in the past, when I've been on stage as well, that when I'm in the zone, um, that, that desire just to push through and even give it more energy to cover up the fact that I'm losing energy, if that yeah. makes any sense yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that I'm noticing through finding like yoga and Pilates and doing this kind of work. It's that, I didn't have a core. <laughs> like, like I've been doing core work at the gym, but it's like, oh, yeah. what's that? What are those muscles? And I'm waking up feeling a little different. But um, yeah. I think me, I was taught to go to the gym, lift weights, get in there and, you know, be strong, where mm -hmm. I'm also unraveling a lot of that now and all the, t um, the tightness around my shoulders and doing yoga and Pilates really yeah. makes me stronger. Um, it really does. It's a, it's it's kind of a it's a different um, fitness, and I you know I believe in lifting weights and and that as well. It's it's different, and I I think the great thing about yoga and Pilates is um, you gain a lot of self awareness, you know, and you start to learn where you are holding tension day to day, and the areas of your body, the finer muscle groups that 
really assist you with functional movements in your life yes. um, and, and where you can, you know, yeah, you don't need to be lifting 100 kilos to strengthen your hamstrings. If you do something really slow and controlled and with that mindfulness aspect, you can really learn to activate parts of your body without, yeah, without lifting heavy loads and just sort of by being really aware and conscious of how you're moving. Yeah. Yeah. So can, um, can you give us some, probably like your top three tips to, to stay motivated or stay fit in this time? Um, but mm. also, you know, there is an end. This is not going to be forever. But how do we stay on top of um, our fitness? And whether that is, doesn't necessarily even have to be about physical fitness. Like you said, it's a mental thing. It's about aligning your body and finding that flow. Uh, what, yeah. can, what are your top tips? I think the great thing about now, this time where we are um, limited to home workouts or, you know, that, that kind of thing is you've got time to explore and find some online solutions or online trainers that you really connect with, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when we do go back to normal life, you can keep training with those trainers at home or when you're on tour um, or on holiday or on the road. So I think it's a great time to explore and really just subscribe to those people. So I'm super like grateful that a lot of people at the moment have found me, but I've actually been, you know, I've been doing not in this volume, but I've been doing a lot of online workouts for years. It's just everyone now has the need for it. And I think people are starting to discover that, oh, I can, I actually can train at home. Um, I don't need to get in my car and drive to the yoga class. I can actually do a home practice that is just as effective as going to the class, you know? Um, yeah. And I think it's a really good time to discover what motivates you, you know? Um, like personally, years ago, like before I turned 18 and I couldn't drive anywhere, I lived um, like an hour out of Melbourne. So yeah. for me, I actually kind of grew up doing home workouts and I had yeah. um, DVDs or even like cassettes of, um, you know, people that I loved and I grew up with and I would just do their workouts over and over and over and over again. And I think that's why I love training so much. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I think it's a really good time to subscribe to a lot of trainers and, yeah, explore the different styles of training that are out there. Like you said, you've discovered that you do enjoy yoga and Pilates. Um, you know, I might discover that I enjoy Tai Chi. I don't know. You know, you just go out there, yeah. try different things and see see what works for you. So I'd say subscribe to people who keep you motivated. And, and it's nice if you can find a trainer who does have that personal connection and you can communicate with online to keep you, to keep you motivated along the way, if that helps you, you know? Um, and then I think another really important tip is at the moment in particular is really sticking to a good schedule and getting into a good routine. Yeah. Um, because, you know, without so many maybe work obligations and, you know, travel obligations, that sort of thing. We've all got a whole heap more time on our hands, um, yeah. which is great. But if you kind of waste that time then or have no structure to that time, you can really skip, you know, you can lose a lot of time doing nothing. Um, so I think it's really good to get into a good routine and maybe train at the same time every day. I mean, I do my training sessions at 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. Um, and for me, I love training in the morning cause I can get it done and then I've got the rest of the day to do whatever I want, you know, yeah. but I think it's really easy when you don't have a work schedule to kind of fall off the bandwagon with your training schedule as well. So I think, I think that's really important schedule. Um, and then just having an appropriate space around your house. So knowing that this is the area, like a dedicated area, this in front of my couch is where I do my workouts. Here is my yoga mat and here is my equipment or whatever it is that you need ready yeah. to go so that like there's nothing in your like not too many obstacles in your way you know between mm. you getting up and doing that session i think it's really important yeah that's great well so thanks mm. so much for having a chat with me where can people find you um what's the best way to yeah get in contact with you get online training with you but also maybe you know once this is over extending into personal you know um programs and even coming to those beautiful classes that you do yeah, thank you. Um, you. You can connect with me on Facebook. I've got a Facebook group where I go live twice a day, as I mentioned, 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. this week. It might change next week at the moment. Um, and it's you can just, uh, if you look up, um, I'll, I can send you the link, Stephen, but bit.ly um, forward slash Steph in lowercase, <laughs> VIP uppercase, 
group lowercase but it's on facebook if you add me on facebook you'll find the group um you can follow me on instagram at steph.turner underscore um or just visit my website performance pilates and yoga.com all one word amazing i'll uh, i'll put some links attached to the video um yeah thank you so much for joining me on that show with money you bye, bye. <laughs>